And good morning everyone. Yan. Happy happy Friday sa inyo. Napakagandang Friday to everyone. Um let me just double check everything audio, everything is here. Um slides ko is okay so we can start. Good morning to our viewers, everyday viewers and good morning to my daughter like uh, and so um today we're going to be talking about um being an investor in the stock market. Um the We're gonna talk about the three types of investing strategies in stocks, especially sa mga newbies. Or, um, hindi lang sa mga newbies, especially sa mga nag uh, gusto talaga maging advanced sa stock market. Uh, if you don't know, I am a swing trader. Yeah, that's my forte. But majority of my port is into investing, paren. Especially now that the third telco is almost, almost sure na. Uh, I invite everyone to become an investor, and what? Um, that's why I'm gonna be talking about what are the three types of investing strategies in stocks. Why do I want you to be an investor? Because I don't want you to be greedy, right? Yung feeling, yung this is the. Ito yung pinakamalaking mali na mga na mga Pinoy, especially mga newbies. Not all the Pinoys have this, but the successful Pinoys. They don't have this, right? Um, you can change this. Ito yung trait ng Pinoy na laging mali. Uh, it's called the instant gratification, yung short-term thinking, right? Yung gusto, uy, nanalo na ako, may pera na ako ngayon, right? They do not think of the long term. You have to think as a long term if you want to be successful in anything, right? You have to plant seeds now and sayang itong seeds na ito. If, you gonna, if you're gonna take your profits early on, baka mahirapan na kayong pumasok in the future, Sayang naman, right? So that's why I'm inviting you guys to become an investor. Kay ISM, pag naging sila na talaga, right? Um, if you're just watching the video, please for- forward to around 25 minutes kasi dyan yung discussion natin about the topic. After that, we're gonna be talking about my picks. May picks ako ngayon because the market's looking well and maganda ang outlook ng market. Um, GDP is good. Um, tinanggal na ang train do so that will um, ease out inflation even more and that's gonna be inviting more investors back to Philippine Stock Exchange kahapon laki ng foreign buying sa ISM <laughs> right um, at least we're in, uh, we're attracting foreign buyers already and that's very good right that's very good uh, we'll talk more about the PSE after the discussion and then yung picks ko and then Whatever your comment is, if you have any questions, we'll discuss this along the way. Post it in the comments because this video is live. Ayan. So first up, I'm gonna be reading your questions and um, greetings, any message, any comments that you have along the way. Ayan. Um, Joel Ligares, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Ayan, number one na naman si Joel Ligares. Napaka masugid natin taga subay bayan. Nga pala, before I continue, please guys, a little a uh, little request, please sh- share the video to your wall and to your trading groups if you have any para at least yung mga newbies um, malaman ang mga dinediscuss natin sa mga fi- sa mga friends niyo sa walls niyo they will know that you're into stock exchange and they, this should spark their um, c- curiosity when it comes to investing yeah nakikurious nga sila pag nakikita nila yung mga pera-pera na mga networking na yan eh Yeah, ba? <laughs> right. Um, brilliant encore, my buntag to everyone. Um, Joy and Lesniana, good morning. Um, Jerome Gamboa, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Chupitan today? I don't think so. Magchupitan today. Um, uh, we'll talk about that also, right? Um, kasi ang inintay ng mga tao is pull back, which is wrong, right? Um, we'll talk more about that in a while, right? Take me wherever you go, morning, sir. Para saan ang tender offer? A E B G nag offer. Um, they're offering their stocks again, right? Binabenta nila uh, stocks nila. John Garcia, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Hops, good morning. Um, Sir, mukhang up ang PSEI two days na kasi medyo nag slow down na, nag slow down na ISM yan. Nag slow down ng ISM kasi it's starting to hit a resistance. Um, but uh, once it gains traction, like Yesterday at the end of the market day, yeah, yep, even yesterday, mga pinoy nagchupitan, but the foreign buyers were in. Ang laki ng foreign buying yesterday kay ISM. So mga pinoy na nagbenta, sayang sayang, right? Um, the the foreigners are even seeing the potential of ISM already. Kaya nagbibilihan ng mga foreigners, di ba? Joy Anles niyana, sir, good morning, Jerome Gamboa, uh, good morning. Ah, uh, meron pa na basa ko na pala yan. right? Joy Ann, um. ABA, ISM, 
FGen and IRC. Si ATN guys, ang laki. Sabi ko sa inyo, ang laki ng potential ni ATN. Now, we have a, what they call this, we have a uh, estimate on how much ATN can earn from their aggregates and it's 600 plus billion. Amazing, right? So, that should be something you look forward to. Kaya sinasabi ko sa inyo lagi, si ATN, just buy on dips, just buy on dips. That's for long term. Bull and Bear, good day coach, good day then. Mix Red, number Sir Lloyd, ask ko naman, DD and MPI. Let's check it out. MPI is in my picks today. Nga pala, meron ako mga recommendations today. MPI, BDO, LP, Lopez, IMI. IMI, very good position, IMI. We'll talk about that in a while. Uh, AEV, IS, uh, SMPH, and DNL. Let me put that on the comments. Ayan, para uh, makita ninyo. Yung picks ko. Um, Asa na yun? MPI and DD. Yan, si MPI, pag-uusapan natin yan. Si DD, tingnan natin si DD, right? Um, nagbawas ako ng DD ko. Ilinagay ko kay ISM. <laughs> Kailan stagger maan yung buntag, Sir Lloyd and Laika? All in na ba kay ISM? Up to you, up to you. Alright, um, we'll talk more about that kung all in na ba tayo. Or please, ayan, si Or. Maganda yung galaw ni Or the past two days. Alright, si Or. and very good. Very good earning, earnings kay Or. Sabi ko sa inyo, maganda yung company na yan. It's just that the market is bearish. Or Michael Ekal, Ekaldre. Good morning, Sir Lloyd from Spain here. Up kaya ngayon si ISM and IRC or down. Um, Pero investor naman ako, Sir. Eh, kaya chill lang. Si IRC... Ang ganda, uh, IRC is already very undervalued kaso nga lang negative ang earnings niya so that might cause um, uh, that might hinder the growth of uh, IRC in the coming days but overall IRC is a good company to get into pag nagmaterialize na yung um, yung subway ng na project ni IRC that would be very good for IRC's earnings nakita nyo si MPI uh, nakita yung mga toll gates dyan grabe piggy bank na, piggy bank yan grabe uh, so laki ng kita ng mga yan and it's very it's constant earnings right um asa na ako Grace Soriano good morning Sir Lloyd and to all viewers out there podcast um uh, good morning ano po balita kay ISM balita kay ISM walang nag-file uh, walang nag-submit ng motion for reconsideration so we only have ISM as the contender and ang cross lang natin na fingers na Walang problema sa bidding documents ni ISM which I don't think they have any problems. They were very confident coming in and after that, we should have a winner. May nanalo na. Uh, we, I can safely say that we are at around 95% sure that ISM will win. Right? Ang kalaban ni ISM ngayon is sarili na lang nila. Right? So, but knowing China Telecom, how good China Telecom is, uh, that should not be a problem. Right? Ang galing... Um, galing na consultant niyan right? gagamitin lang consultant yan si Chad na telecom and then provider yan so I don't think it's gonna be a problem anymore right so um, asa na ako um, Gorley good morning Sir Lloyd insights po kay MPI at food and thanks for more power yan si food pinasok ng isang student ko yan eh na hindi ko nasagot right? I made it as an advertisement kahapon my students are very independent already Right? They consult every now and then, but they know they already know when to enter, how to enter. Right? If you uh, speaking of students, if you wanna join the workshop, meron akong seminar, uh, online seminar, mamayang gabi, uh, Friday and Saturday, and part one today, tonight, and part two is tomorrow. All in, um, just send me a message if you wanna join that. If you wanna be an independent trader, also, I strongly recommend you join the seminar. Right? Um, uh, take advantage of bullish stocks hindi nagpa-practice pa kayo bullish ng market right um it's a little investment but i tell you the returns will be very worth it um don't take it from me um tingnan niyo po ang mga uh, testimonials ng mga students ko nasa um nasa ranking ratings ng ano ng financial freedom 101 page ng facebook right makikita niyo diyan uh, the students are doing good already right if you join them just send me a message so I can send you the details. More power po to F Financial Freedom 101 Hops. Thank you so much, Ray Anthony. Is Irisari, my buntag, Sir Lloyd, from Sweden. Ayan, mga kapatid natin from Sweden. Good morning sa inyo. Nga pala, I want to send my greetings out to uh, uh, Rome, Italy's uh, ano yan, trading team, right? Association of Traders and Investors in Rome, Italy. It's a group of traders in Rome, Italy. They just started. They started small, but now they're very active. And it's very good to know that uh, mga kapatid and then OFWs are very investment in line na, right? Um, very investor-minded na, right? 
So that's very good. So hopefully soon, ma punta rin ako ng room Italy to talk to you guys, right? That will be a very, uh, very, very uh, interesting happening in my life if ma punta ako dyan. Ivoni Leonora, sorry your message got retracted. Can you please post it again? Um, Joseph Cortez, my buntag, Sir Lloyd. Pabati po. Um, CY? And company, mommy boys ng Bulacan. <laughs> Tato ako so mommy boys. <laughs> right? But good morning sa inyo dyan uh, sa Bulacan. Right? Joseph Cortez and group, uh, C- CY and company, C and, co- and company, mommy boys. Right? Jim Kua, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning, Rachel Ann Lim. I hope nag-greet siya sa crush niya. <laughs> Biro lang. Right? Uh, good morning then, Rachel Ann Lim. Neil Bersamin, good morning, sir, from DB. Uh, Manila, BGC. Ano po ang mga dapat nating abangan sa ISM? Yay, good vibes. Right? Uh, we'll talk about ISM in a while. Sorry about that. Um, Amancio Akas, may buntag, sir. Um, John Namin Garlit, good morning, sir, Lloyd and Laika. Kamusta? Okay, na- okay po ba si STI? STI made a good support. Uh, it made a good bounce. Kaso nga lang yung earnings ni STI baka mahinder. But it's up to you if you wanna test it out. Let's check out the chart later ni STI. Jonar Aguilar, good morning po. Cherito Santos, hi Sir Lloyd from Toronto. Alright, Toronto. Yan. Good morning sa inyo dyan, mga kapitinid. Of W's na nasa Toronto din. Especially to Cherito. I... Ivone Leonora, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning, like. Is it okay to chip it if you see the stock is going down even though you enter as an investor? Just like ISM, nakabudega na kasi. Um, if you're an investor, yeah, um, may tuturo ako sa inyo ha, mamaya. Alright, this, this is, these are the three types of investor strategies. That's somehow in line of the, ano, in line of the advanced, um, advanced cost averaging strategy. Um, tuturuan ko kayo paano gagawin yan. Yes, pwede, but I'll teach you how to properly do it in a bit. Right, Mark Lester, good morning, boss. Um, and Laika, good morning to all of us. Uh, happy trading. Pak- uh, pakidin po yung wife kong kay- ko si Ems Gardose. Right? Mark Lester and Ems Gardose, see you tonight. Right, um, and good, uh, what do you call this? Uh, good day sa inyo. God bless. Alright, Roger Aguilar, sir. Ano po strategy ISM today? Pwede na po ba? Metrobank, GT Cap. Si GT Cap, um, medyo shaky ako. Hindi ko na recommend si GT, GT Cap. Kasi negative earnings ni GT Cap. So that might, um, that might make its growth slow. But si MBT, umakit na si MBT. Good job sa mga pumasok kay MBT. Lang araw ko rin nire-recommend yan. Um, let's check out MBT and um, MBT and GT Cup pa rin. Just to show you why I'm not recommending them today. Peter John Solis, good morning Sir Lloyd. Happy Friday. What do you think sa ISM for today? And for upcoming weeks, since we are looking for backdoor listing, what will happen if backdoor listing will be complete? Peter Solis, ayan, um, sagutin ko na lang ito guys ha. Um, backdoor listing sila ng Udena. So meaning, actually approved na ni ISM, magiging Udena na sila. It's already been approved by them, by the company itself. It's just that they have to, um, they're waiting for uh, SEC uh, no, um, approval ni SEC, right? just to make it uh, official. Right? So, yun lang ang hinihintay nila. Actually, sila na si Udena. Uh, they're already operating as Udena. Um, yun na lang. Uh, not yet really operating as Udena, but everything is approved already. They're already in the preparations. That what That's what I meant. Right? They're already in the preparations to the transition to becoming Udena. Right? Uh, so, that's okay already. That's why ISM is the one that's going up instead. Um, kasi wala si Udena sa stock market. Eh, diba? Um, uh, what are the expectations for ISM? We'll talk about that in a while. Uh, Roland Hamela, um, good morning, Sir Lloyd. ATN, please. Very good si ATN. You can check out ATN for breakout. Medyo na mataas na for me. I don't like breakouts on a bearish market. But yeah, ATN is, sabi ko sa inyo, just be an investor ka ATN. Bili lang kayo ng bili habang mura pa yan. Ang laki ng p- um, potential growth ni ATN. Ro- um, Ben Store TV Gaming, good morning, sir. Pwede pa bang makasali sa training tonight? Yes, you can. Just send me a message so I can send you the details after the uh, after the daily grind, right? Uh, Adnan Alvarez, dun, dun kayo mag-send a message sa Facebook ko. Right? You, it can be in Financial Freedom 101 or my personal Facebook page. Pwede kayo mag-send do- doon. Right? Raymond Arano, good morning, sir Lloyd. Good day. Ngayon po ba ang announcement ng third telco? Not today. Um, hindi pa ngayon. Um, ang official announcement nga, sabi ni Secretary Rio, before Christmas daw eh, diba? Um, but, um, that's just, um, that's the, ano, that's the safe 
what you call this that's yung uh, safe na what you call this um safe na timeline right before christmas um even tomorrow is before christmas but we're expecting na next by next week ma matatapos na right um at ma-announce na nila John Michael Tang Tangangko um boss ATN ang ganda yes very good say ATN i told you just be patient kay ATN mayroon akong kakilala sa chatroom shout out to di ko na papangalanan pero lumabas siya sa ATN kasi pinanghabol niya sa kay ISM tapos si ATN lumipad <laughs> si ISM nag pull back Right, yan ang nagagawa ng FOMO, <laughs> right? So, but yeah, um, anyways, um, maganda naman yung booth ng pinasukan niya. So, ATN and ISM still very good. So, in the future, um, gaganda rin naman yung position na yan, right? Um, that was still an okay, somehow, um, position, but would have been best na nagadagdag na lang siya ng buying power. Right, Angelo Rubia, IRC po, sir. Uh, John Carlo Flores, good morning, sir. Pa-request po ng BPI, SMC, and ABA. Right, um... Si ABA, hindi ko muna rin recommend kasi medyo mataas na. We're waiting for the next retracement for ABA. But definitely, ABA, ilang, ilang buwan ko na siguro nire-recommend yan. Justin Salvador, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Nangamusta mga tao ni Mudri sa IT Park? <laughs> sa IT Park? Bakit sa IT Park? Right. Um, Naya Z. Maisi, good morning sa inyo dyan. Mga tao, <laughs> ako dyan sa IT Park. Wala akong tao dyan, but siguro mga, mga nakilala ko and friends from IT Park, right? So, good morning sa inyo dyan. Layazi Macy. Um, good morning, Sir Lloyd from Hong Kong. Ay, magaling. Hong Kong. Right. Um, John Michael Taranko. Sir Lloyd, nabuhayan ako sa ETN. Tuloy-tuloy na ba ito? Ayos pa rin bang long term? Definitely. Napaka-okay ni ETN. Long term. I told you, pumasok kayo dyan as an investors. Pag bumagsak yan, just keep buying more at magbudega at magbudega kayo. ATN, ISM. Yun yung future blue chips ko. <laughs> right. So, I'm already in ATN. I'm already in ISM. So, secured na ang growth ko for the next coming years. So, I'm happy with my positions. Joy and Lesniana. Sir, congrats. Last time I watched about 50 na lang lang la live thanks sa support um sa mga newbies right thank you so much then sa mga support niyo um joy and uh yan uh yes marami rami na tayong viewers also, also uh, again please share the videos please support financial freedom 101 also if you want to um if you want to show your support also pwede kayong magbigay ng monetary donations pwede kayong gumamit ng super chat yung dollar sign katabi ng smiley right if you want to send uh what they call this if you want to send support uh, for Financial Freedom 101. You can click on that para makatulong naman sa channel. Any amount will be greatly, greatly appreciated. Ang laking tulong na yan para na yan pang bayad natin kay PLDT. <laughs> right? right. Uh, Ava, um, speaking of PLDT, guys, um, si PLDT ngayon, ang tawag ng tawag ang mga uh, mga telco, si Globe, si, tel, uh, si PLDT, kasi libre na daw ang upgrade sa LTE. Ayan yung sinasabi ko, effect ng third telco, PLDT will do their best to keep their clients. Ayan, yun yung sinasabi ko. Kahit hindi pa dumating sa inyo si third telco kaagad, rest assured, PLDT, aalagaan kayo niyan para huwag kayong lumipat. Alright, so gaganda ang service din naman ni PLDT. So, yun. Um... Ava, Libid, good morning, Sir Lloyd, STI and ECP. Thanks po, I'm gonna write down uh, ECP. ECP, alright, easy call, alright. Philly Apaya, good morning, Sir Lloyd, watching from Dubai. How about PIP and em Emperador po? Uh, mayroon pa pala si Ava. Right. Um, you're welcome. Um, let me write this down. PIP and Emperador. Philly Apaya, good morning, watching from Dubai. Eh, mga kapatid dating OFWs from Dubai. Watch out, uh, mga first quarter next year, I'm planning to go there sa Dubai, uh, Middle East, right? Um, it's gonna be the first international seminar of Financial Freedom 101. So, we'll see each other there. I hope supportan nyo po, pagandaan nyo po, right? Feli Apaya, um, yan. Uh, Harold Kumar, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Paano po sumali sa training mo? Asas ka sa Mindanao, Sir. Um, baka pwede mapuntahan ka pag uwi ko galing UAE, right? Um, Wala ako sa Mindanao, but I am from Lopez Sina. It's next to Oroqueta City, right? Um, taga Mindanao din ako. Laking, probin laking probinsya din ako. Hindi ako lumaki talaga doon, but my father's from there. He's still there, right? Um, one of the head of the fisher folks there. Mangiisda ang tatay ko, right? So, yeah. Um, uh, I'm from uh, Lopez Sina, right? Um, but I'm based in Cebu. 
um, if ever hindi mo ka, hindi tayo magkaabot, pwede namang online seminars, right? Just send me a message for more details. Full like, good morning, Sir Lloyd. It's 8.36, so may oras pa tayo. Lolita Rolyoda. Hello, Sir Lloyd. Good morning po. MPI ATN. Na-ask ko din po paano mag-buy sa PSE Index. Alright, um... PSE Index, pwede ka mag um, FM ETF, naka ano sa index yon Mga ETF, mga mutual funds, naka index based yun. Uh, wala kang, uh, wala tayong pwedeng ikaw mismo ang mag ano sa index. Right? Um, or, baka ibig mo sabihin blue chip ang gusto mong bilhin. Right? So, mga recommendations ko ngayon, um, karamihan dyan are blue chips, very good positions. MPI, ETN, ganda na mga stocks na pinili mo. So, yeah, we'll check this out. This uh, out Lolita, right? Raymond Aran Arano, right? Sir Lloyd Insights po kay CLI, maganda naman po ang earnings pero ba bumagsak may effect po bang ba buyback na ginawa nila? Ano pa ba, ba advantage na disadvantage natin ng buyback offer? Yan um that's the thing, right? Even if earnings even maganda ang news, you can't really predict the market. The market will do whatever it wants. It it just so happen ang laki ng bagsak ni CLI kahapon. Ganda pa rin naman ang company, right? Um, or just, um, ako is, nakapasok ko sa kanila. Um, I'm just planning to average down in the future. Um, I'm gonna be into them for longer term kasi pag natuloy yung federalism, they're, they're already positioned to be very good, right? So, I'm banking on that. Excuse me na. Right, so, yan. Um, CLI, buyback, share buyback, maganda naman effect ng share buyback. Eh. That means that the prices are undervalued because the company thinks, uy, mura ang stocks natin. We can buy this back para in the future. So if we need to sell them, mas mabenta natin na mas mataas. Right? Hindi pa panahon nila ngayon. Right? So wala pa. Right? But yeah, you have to consider that CLI has already positioned themselves para kumatuloy yung federalism and lumipad ang ibang regions of the Philippines. Uh, all, they have already positioned themselves properly. Yan. Kaya maganda ang strategy ni CLI. Um, Benji Gloria Sir Lloyd, anong nga sa'yo? Good morning din. Anong nga sa'yo? Dave, guapo daddy's cold morning Sir Lloyd and Laika and to my wife watching from South Korea. Ayan, malamig pala dyan ngayon. Fritz Baltazar, good morning. BPI, MBT, URC po. Alright, sa so URC, tinitingnan ko kanina kung pwede na bilhin eh. Pero hindi gaano malaki yung earnings ni URC eh. Baka hindi gaano umangat. But URC is at a very good position as of the moment. We'll check it out. Paul, good morning Sir Lloyd. Paul from Seattle, Washington. Ayan. Good morning sa iyo, Paul. Um, hope marami pa rin tayong mga kapatid dyan o FW sa Seattle, Washington. Good morning sa inyo, especially to Paul. Tyron Javier, good morning. Sir Lloyd, okay pa ba, sir? Mag-hold kay ISM 829 average ko. Definitely, right? Okay pa ba mag-hold? Ano ba yung, pra, pra, uh, ano ba yung, ano ba yung strategy mo dyan? Is it for long term? Kung long term, hold ka. ba? Diba? Ganun lang. Um, 8.29 ang average mo. Yun yung sinasabi ko sa inyo lagi. If mataas ang average nyo, if it goes down, just buy more. Huwag nyo ibenta. Bakit nyo ibibenta? Eh, sure uptrend yung stock na yan. ba? Diba? So, yun. Um, just buy more. Tyron, okay? Roy Minaw. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. From Laika from South Korea. Maxis, ABBA, STI. Uh, very good picks. Maxis, ABBA, and STI. We'll, we'll check them out. And BPI, MBT, and URC. And 8.40. It's already 8.40. So, um, basahin ko lang last two. Si Charlene Reyes, good morning. Sir Lloyd, pa insight po for TBGI and B-Core. TBGI. B-Core. Si B-Core gumaganda eh, right? B-Core then Jason Rogado. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Possible po ba na kumita sa stock market at least 30K a month? Yes, possible yan. Especially pag um, 1 million ang investment mo, just 3% na gain mo in a month is already 30K, right? Depende yan sa investment mo actually, right? Um, possible yan. Very possible. Especially if you're already very good in trading. But, Wag kayo mag-focus. That's wrong goal setting. Ito yung sasas ninuturo ko sa seminars, right? Uh, let's talk about that. Yeah, diretso na tayo. Um, unahin ko muna yan. It's really, uh, that's the wrong way to set. Uh, nothing against you, Jason, right? Ang karamihan kasi ng kamalian ng newbies is when they set goals, yun yung goal nila. I want to earn 30,000 a month through trading. Hindi. I don't want, that's focusing on the results, right? Resulta na yan yung pinafocus niya Right? You focus on the results, but you don't know what to do, how to do it, right? Don't be, um, don't make that your goal. 
it should be that you should focus on the little things. Focus on doing the right thing, right? Focus on entering at a very low risk. Focus on cutting losses. Focus on improving. Focus on test buys. Arami pang process na itinuturo ko. Focus on these things. Focus on doing the right thing. That's the thing about training. If you're practicing, focus on doing the right thing. That should be your goal. I should be able to cut my losses if it is goes down. You should be able to know how to average up, where to average up. Right? You should focus on that instead of yung result. I tell you, if you focus on doing the right things, you're doing the right things. If nakikita yung mga post ng mga students, mga message sa akin, bakit nag-green na yung ports nila, it's because I told them to focus on doing the right thing. Results will just follow. Students will just be amazed that their sta- their ports are getting green and green. And then once they build your, their confidence, pwede ka na maglagay ng malaking pera. And 30k a month is just gonna be easy breezy. Right? If you're already good. But don't focus on that. Again, focus on the right process and the results shall follow. Right, so let's start. Let's stop there. Let's start the discussion. And discussion natin yan are the three types of investing strategies in stocks. Bakit ko discuss ito? Because ISM, minsan lang ang opportunities na ganito, we are, uh, we are looking at a potential blue chip and then Sayang, if hindi marunong ang mga taong pumasok nito, marami ako nakikita ng nagbebentahan, natatakot sa pullback. Why? Right? You are thinking long term. Right? For these kinds of opportunities, paminsan-minsan lang ito, huwag nyo sasayangin na magbenta kayo. It should be, your goal dito is... As much as possible, mahawakan yung 1 million pesos nito. So every time uh, you have money, just keep buying more, keep and buying more. Right? Just be an investor. I hold nyo yan. Wag nyo pakialaman yung intraday movements kasi pang intraday traders yan. And kung hindi naman kayo marunong mag intraday, wag na. Right? Don't concern yourselves about that. Con- be concerned about if investor kayo, be concerned about what's gonna be happening 5 to 10 years from now. At 5 to 10 years from now, konti lang ang hawak nyo. You just wasted this very good opportunity. Yan yung gusto kong sabihin sa inyo. So, turuan ko kayo how to properly be an investor. There are three types of investing strategies. Why am I um, teaching this again? Uh, there are. You have to be sure what your strategy is in, is in getting ISM kasi eh, right? There are two types of people in the stock market. It's a trader and an investor. A trader, ito yung mga short term na yeah, Kung trader naman ang trading naman ang purpose niyo pumasok, yes okay lang binenta niyo doon sa taas mga 8.4 ganyan binenta niyo and then that's good if you're a trader. But I strongly recommend you become an investor kasi ang problema nito kakasimula lang ni ISM is just starting. Right? Before I continue to this lesson ito. This is just starting and the newbies ang daming nababasa ma pullback na pullback mo antayin yung pullback baka mag pullback yan and ang daming natatakot. Remember Hindi lang pullback ang pwedeng gawin ng isang stock after exaggerated movements. We can consider ISM as the movement to be exaggerated, di ba? So, people are expecting the pullback and then antayin ko lang ang pullback before akong pumasok. What if hindi mag-pullback? Yun yung tanong, di ba? Hindi naman pwedeng aakyat yan. Yes, ta- tama naman. Hindi pwedeng aakyat at aakyat lang yan. Right? Um, let me go to a chart. Let me show you heaven. A very good example of this is heaven. Right? This happened to heaven. Exaggerated movements. And there it is. Exaggerated movements. Let's consider heaven. Let's say si heaven ito. Uh, si heaven, si ISM. And you're seeing this. Ito yung nangyayari kay ISM. Diba? You're seeing a weakness, a price action. You're seeing a red right there. Alright, so. What do you do? For example, si ISM ito. Ang mga tao ngayon currently are waiting for a pullback. Let's remove Bollinger Band. So people are currently waiting for a pullback. Nagaantay ng pullback ang mga tao. Volume is going down. RSI is very high up there. Anong ayaw pumasok ng mga tao bakas because naantay nila ang pullback. Right? Si Heaven, hindi pa nga alam ng mga tao nito ano nangyayari kay Heaven eh. Kay ISM, alam na natin. Right? So people were waiting for a pullback. And does the, did the pullback happen? No, umangat lang ng umangat. This is called consolidation. Hindi lang pullback ang pwedeng reaction ng market after exaggerated moves. This is a very exaggerated move right here by, uh, what do you call this, by 
heaven from here at this point to here this is 410 percent i hope you can see that 410 percent movement that's an exaggerated movement diba so people ayo pumasok nila kasi antay nila ng pullback and hindi pumasok hindi naman ng pullback and nagtuloy-tuloy this is called consolidation right here right it's either a pullback babagsak siya and then bounce to its continuous uptrend but this can also happen nagrest lang ng ilang araw and then nagtuloy-tuloy that happened again nangihintay ang mga tao mang pullback nagaantay ng pullback walang pullback nangyari ano nangyari consolidation it's a longer correction pero hindi siya bumababa it can be that a stock might pull back mas mabilis naman na correction ang pullback but with the momentum of ism right now with the foreign buying with the third telco hype it's substantiated so i don't think ism is gonna do a pullback it is gonna consolidate you can see this right here it's either that ang problema ngayon sa consolidation is we don't know how consolid how long the consolidation will be it can be two days three days ngayon talawang araw na i think two two days na si ism na consolidate right let's check out ism right see so ism ngayon sorry Right. So ISM is already consolidating for two days already. Right? Ito yung sinasabi ko yung pumula. Pero hindi nyo alam kung magpo-pull back yan. Nag-consolidate lang na isang araw, umakit ulit. It's now consolidating again. It might last for longer or, or it might go up right away. Yun yung problema natin. Yung mga taong nag-aantay ng pull back, baka hindi na kayo abutan, maiwan na kayo. Sinasabi ko sa inyo, be an investor. For, I've been saying this for how many days? Just be an investor. Just do a test by here. Test by meaning, if you have 100k budget here, pwede 50,000 lang muna ay pasok ninyo. So that if ever it does a pullback, you can average down with your another 50,000. Right? Ganun ang gawin ninyo. Hindi yung antayin yung pullback, dito kayo papasok 100,000. Ang ending yan, baka lumipad yan, hindi kayo makapasok all in all. Mafofomo lang kayo. Masisira ang strategy nyo. Be an investor. Just get in. Test by here. If it goes down, then you just average down. If it goes up, then wait for the next retracement and then that's where you go all in. Right? Test by. That's the best strategy here. Huwag nyo antayin yung pullback. May iwan kayo niyan. Right now, we'll talk about being an investor. Kasi, um... Baka hindi mag-pullback yan, baka mag-consolidate lang. That's a fact, right? Now, three types of investing strategies. One is one-time, big-time. Right? One-time, big-time. Number two is cost averaging. Next is advanced cost averaging. Ito yung tatlo, ituturo ko sa inyo ngayon. Number one, first up, we go for one-time, big-time. Ito yung, for example, may 100,000 ka. Enter a stock and leave it there for a long time, hoping it will go up. Right? So, that's good. That's okay if may pera kayo. Right? It has its advantage. Good if you're right. If nakapasok kayo tulad ng mga tinuruan ko about ISM noon, andun, andun pa sa tres, nag one time, mid time yung mga yon. So, good if we were right. Right? That's the advantage of it. The disadvantage is what if you are wrong at bumagsak. Diba? Ngayon, ang dami kong natanggap na message, Sir Lloyd, um, pumasok ako dito sa taas. Ang problema, ginawa nila strategy is one time, big time. Yun yung problema. That's the disadvantage. What if you are wrong? What if it goes down, di ba? But, swerte if tama ka, ito maket yan. That's why I just want you, the right strategy here is not wait for a pullback. Just get in, test by lang, right? Um, what if, nag one time big time ka dito at, at bumagsak, wala ka ng pang average down pag nag one time big time ka. Okay, sana mag one time big time dito. Ang dami nating inantay na signals dito. Look at this, Bollinger Band Trigger. There's that pullback and then there's there it is. Yan yung uptrend niya pa rin. So that would have been a perfect time to go all in. Diyan ba tayo nakapasok, right? So nag-average up, average up lang ako. Yan, tumaas na yung average ko. But then again, yes, um, one time big time. Yan yung, yan yung advantage of this and disadvantage of one time big time. I don't recommend this especially to newbies, right? So wag kayo mag one time big time. Pero that's one strategy. You can do that especially if maganda, maganda pa yung position. Next up is cost averaging. Ito yung, this is where you buy a stock whenever you can add money to your account. Right? So, cost averaging, um, you can make a cost averaging program. For example, 5,000 
a month, meron kang ipon na 5,000 a month, right? May ipon ka 5,000, huwag mo ilalagay lahat sa stocks, right? Kung ipon mo, right, only a po small portion of it should go into stocks. But let's say you have 5,000 allocation for stocks every month, right? Um, Ang gawin mo lang is, just put it in your account and then just buy, for example, si ISM, just buy ISM every time you have 5,000 pesos, not um, disregard kung mataas ba siya or bababa or tataas or bababa, right? Hindi mo pakapakailama. I don't care if mataas si ISM ngayon. I'm gonna buy 5,000. Next month, baka mababa si ISM. Just buy. You don't care about the price. That's cost averaging. Maganda yan sa mga magagandang stocks, especially growing stocks like GFC, BDO, yan sa mga blue chips ng ganito. Right? Cost averaging is okay. For example, ISM, pag sila na talaga, um, pwede kayo mag-cost averaging dito. Right? Um, how does this help? Diba, sir, pangit ba makabili ng mahal, diba? Yes, pangit naman bumili ng mahal. But if you're doing this constantly, you will, let me just zoom this out, you will eventually make it a a good entry right um mag average yan. that's why it's called cost averaging right uh, this slide is from the seminar of call financial i just took it out um and dito yun sa anunle sa what they call this yun slides na, na they gave out to their to their students so i'm using it so cost averaging the strategy invest a fixed amount of money every period of time month 1 by Thank you so much, Maxine Del Rosario, for subscribing. Sa mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe, please subscribe to my channel. Yan. Month 1, buy 5,000 worth of stocks ABC at market price. Month 2, buy another 5,000. Month 3, 5,000 consistently. You have to do this consistently. So, unang pagbili mo, month 1 dito, there are moments na pagbili mo, mababa. There are moments na pagbili mo, mataas. So, don't worry about that. Kasi this is cost averaging. Kahit mataas ang mabili mo dyan, the next coming months, more or less, mababa naman ang mabibili mo. So, hihilain pa rin yung average mo. It's gonna be going to a good average. You get buy, you get to buy more shares when prices are low. Eventually, you will be at a very good position. This is, eto yung sinasabi ko, it's about volume. Hindi yung 100,000 lang ang lalagay mo dyan. For at least, iwanan mo for how many years. Don't expect to become a big millionaire that way. It's everything still boils down to saving and putting your money in the right, uh, the right investments. It's still about cost averaging. It's about volume, volume manyo. Do not be uh, contented with just 100k pesos putting it, it into ISM, right? Pag maganda ang galaw ni ISM, it it will strong greatly help you if palaki ng palaki, parami ng parami ang stocks niyo. Cost averaging is one way to do it. Right? I invite you guys to do cost averaging, especially sa mga newbies. Um, there is this thing called advanced, uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, advanced cost averaging. This is the third type of cost averaging. Ito yung ginagawa ko. Kasi somehow, um, I, I recommend cost averaging for those people who really cannot watch the market. Right? You wala talagang, um, hindi talaga marunong pa mag-trade. Just do cost averaging. That's the simplest way to do investing. Right? Yung, um, yung maid ni Bo Sanchez, there was a very good story about that. Um, yung katulong ni Bo Sanchez is just doing cost averaging. Simply doing cost averaging. Wala siyang pakialam sa technical analysis. He just put it in the same stock every month and every month. Uh, and then, half after how many years, naging millionaire na siya. Right? Um, yun. Um, that's the easy part of cost averaging. Advanced cost averaging sa mga marunong naman mag-trade, ito yung ginagawa ko. For example, uh, I did this with JFC. Right? JFC. Right? Entered JFC uh, 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 last year after this double bottom right here. Pumasa ko kay JFC. Tanggalin ko lang si Bollinger Bansa para clear. And then the volume also. Uh, si RSI, sige, iwan natin si RSI dyan. Nawala na yung full screen ni ano eh. Nawala na yung full screen ni, uh, what do you call this? Ni uh, PSE Tools eh. Sayang, I always use the full screen on my live. Um, but yeah, um, I entered it here. Si Jollibee dito, sa double bot na match. Pumasok ako dito, and then just bought, bought more here. But this is the time that I, uh, I, I put commitment in entering Jollibee. And for one year, Jollibee has been on an uptrend, right? So, advanced cost averaging is like this. For example, pumasok ako dito. Um, this is March 2017, right? On April, may pera ako. 
5,000, for example, pinasok ko dito ng 5,000. Let me just zoom in. 5,000 at this point right here. 5,000. On April, April dito, mataas pa siya. So, may 5,000 ako, pero hindi ko pinasok kay Jollibee. Kasi mataas pa. May. Come May. May 5,000 ulit ako. So, 10,000 ang pera ko. Mataas pa rin ang presyo ng Jollibee. So, hindi ko binili. Noong, ano, nung bumaba siya late May, doon ko pinasok. Right? I bought more Jollibee at around this area. Kasi marapit na siya sa uptrend support niya. So, I entered Jollibee with 10,000. So, next month, kay June, medyo mataas na siya. Hindi ko muna pinasok. And then, I saw this here, June 30. It's still, still inside June. Mura pa siya. It's on its uptrend line. I um, in nakaka-pullback niya pa lang. So, I bought more 5,000. Uh, 5, and August, yan. August, may nakita akong uptrend line na na sure kay Jollibee. Bought more. And then, that was the uptrend line. Hindi ko binili September. Hindi ko bumili October. Hindi ko bumili ng November. Right? For 3 months, inipin ko yung 5,000 ko. So, I have 15,000. And come December, bumaba siya. December, malapit na siya sa uptrend line niya. We have confirmations right here. So, I bought 20,000 worth kasi may December budget ako. So, another 5,000. So, um, linagyan ko ng 20k si Jollibee. Right? Ganyan. And then, if it goes up, wag muna bumili. If it goes down, yes, you buy at here. Bumili ako at this part. When do I sell it? When it broke the uptrend, wag muna, lang, wag muna mang hawakan all the time kahit pababa yung stock. Right? Si cost averaging kasi, you don't really care if pa-uptrend siya or pa-downtrend. Just keep buying more, di ba? But advanced cost averaging, the moment it broke my uptrend, I sold half of my positions. Binenta ko ang kalahate and then I saw this good bounce right here. Bumili ako ng yung pera nakuha ko, half from here. I bought it at this point right here. When we saw this weakness, may weakness tayo dito, right? How do you know? Um, at this point, nagbenta ako. How did I know that there was weakness here? Look at this right here. Yung resistance niya pataas, but RSI is going down. Lesson ko sa inyo kahapon. This is a better signal right here. Pataas ang RSI. But pababa, I mean, pababa ang RSI. Pataas ang presyo. That's a better signal. Nagbenta ako ng kalahati dyan. And then bought another. At this point, we have another RSI signal here. Horizontal line. Yung support is sideways. Pero RSI is going up. So, I knew this was a possible bottom. So, on the other half, yung other half ko, binili ko ulit at this point. And that's a better movement for for GFC. Right? Dun ko, yun ang ginawa ko. And now, J Jollibee is on an uptrend again. So, um, nag-continue na naman ako ng cost averaging niya. So, pag nagtuloy-tuloy yan, bumili ako ng J Jollibee dito at 2.6. Uh, actually, bumili ako 2.40. At around 2.40... No, not 240. Right around this area. 250. 255. Bumili tayo dyan. 252 yung alam ko eh. 252. Bumili ako dyan. And then, waiting for the next retracement. This would have been the next retracement. Hindi ako nakapag-average down. I mean, hindi ako naka-cost naka averaging. Dapat sa program ko, dapat bumili ako dito. Hindi ako bumili. Bakit? Kasi linagay ko kay ASM ang pera ko. <laughs> but yeah. This, that's, that's my point. This is a more advanced cost averaging strategy. This is more efficient than just cost averaging. This is more for advanced players who want to go long term. Yung mga traders dyan na mag gusto mag long term. Yung mga gusto mag trader dyan and wants to go long term. You can use this strategy kay ISM. You can apply, um, you can apply advanced cost averaging. Wag nyong ibibenta. Mamaya nyo na ibenta pag na-break yung uptrend. ISM is gonna be on an uptrend. Sayang if binenta ninyo. Kasi hindi natin alam kung magtuloy-tuloy pa yan. O makyat, ba? It can go down, pero pag nasa uptrend pa naman siya, huwag nyo ibibenta, right? Just sell it if the main uptrend stops. And then just buy it again if you see a possible reversal. Right? This is advanced cost averaging. This should be the strategy you should be applying for ISM, I don't want you guys to really sell it, especially sa mga investor. Sayang, sayang yung opportunity, right? Just because of uh, short-term, ano. Problema kasi pag binenta nyo kahapon, um, bumaba sa si ISM kahapon, pag binenta nyo, what if lumipad yan ngayon, right? Hindi na kayo makaka, sayang yung position ninyo. And you have to start with another position, which is delikado na, kasi hindi na natin alam saan to gagalaw from here, from this point on. Pwede siyang umakyat, Tapos mafofomo ka, papasok ka ulit. Tapos bakit pag, pag bumagsak yan? Wala kang choice, you have to average down. Nasayang lang yung gains mo dito. 
right? So it's really uh, just ang recommend ko, recommendation ko lang talaga dito is really just be an investor. You can do cost averaging, you can do advanced cost averaging for this position right here. So yun yung pwede nyong gawin for ISM. So those are the three types of invest strategy right if you are an investor just apply that um, let me just go to your comments if meron kayo mga questions good morning T tj barbado um diba sir must recommend yung 8k magbili ng stocks para di lugi sa common tax um okay lang naman yung 8k para hindi ka lugi but if the stock is going up like jfc okay lang yun walang problema yan Right? Malulugi ka if labas-pasok ka na labas-pasok. But if you're doing cost averaging, that's not a problem. Hindi, ka naman, hindi mo naman ilalabas ang stocks mo eh. Right? Pag umakit naman yung stocks mo, kikita ka naman. Right? So that's okay. 5K is okay kung, uh, kung investor ka. Hindi ka labas-pasok, labas-pasok. Ida Vargas, good morning Sir Lloyd. Watching from Qatar. Miko Loco, andito ka. Sir, uh, okay lang ba magbodega sa IRC kahit negative quarterly income? Um, IRC, yes. I, uh, it's okay. But I strongly recommend you put it on ISM instead. Mas malaki, mas malayo mararating na ISM instead of IRC. Right? There is a way to average down kay IRC na hindi nagdadagdag ng pera. I have a video about that. What if you haven't, you were not able to cut your losses? You can do that. RJ Ab Abracosa Idol, thank you for sharing your knowledge, my boy. Thank you so much. Then, um, thank you, Sir Lloyd. Marami na tutunan. Gandang umaga. If everyone will hold and not sell, what is? There to buy. Just kidding. Right. Um, don't worry. Um, hindi naman lahat mag-hold yan. I don't want everyone to hold it. Kasi, I can control everyone. Not all, not everyone are investors. Diba? So, especially now, dito sa markets, mga chupitero. Right? So, if marami ang mag-hold, it will help the stock go up. Kasi pag naging chupitero lahat, mahirapan ang stock na umakyat. Diba? So, yan, um, it will never happen na lahat mag-hold, right? Kasi hindi mo makakontrol ang mga tao, especially yung mga nasa baba, nasa baba pumasok, mag take profits yung mga yan. So, it, it never happens, right? Sabi kasi ng mga tao, what if mag-hold? Tulad na sinabi ni Dana, right? Um, I've heard, um, I've heard many of this, uh, uh, many of this line before. It never happens, right? Hindi mo naman, um, hindi naman lahat investors, eh. right? Sakto tong topic, Sir Lloyd, 8.707 average price ko, kaya kinakabahan ako. Don't worry, huwag kayong makabahan, right? Just think of it as a long, uh, for long term. Lagi pang rarating ni ISM, right? Uh, pag natuloy talaga sila, at mara malaki naman ang chance na matutuloy na sila. Sir, good morning, WPI po. Sir, meron ka bang workshop sa Cebu na hindi online? Meron ako this uh, sinulog, right? Before sinulog, right? Meron sa Cebu, right? It, it will be on January pa nga lang. Right, ni Hao, um, Sir Lloyd uh, from Taiwan, um, I'm okay. Uh, I hope okay din kayo dyan. O, and how? Um, Eisenberg Ochanko, good morning Sir Lloyd. How about SMPH and ABA? We'll talk more about that in a while. Tignan ko lang if may question sa mga topics natin, sa topic natin ngayon. Alvin De La Cruz, Sir. Hi Sir, pa-comment po sa planning ng ISM about FOO. Ano pong effect nito sa retailer? It might go down, depende. But the thing is, hindi pa natin alam kailan sila mag-FOO. Pwede sila mag-FOO kung 20 na ang presyo nila. So FOO nila most probably average by that time is 17 pesos. So... From 19 or 20, babagsak na 17 pesos, walang problema yan. Right? At least, ma, pa, na, nasa baba pa naman tayo. If ever it goes down and nasa baba naman tayo, we can always sell half and then just buy more sa FOO nila. Diba? Don't worry about the FOO. This is a good company. Right? Lizel Elianza. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning then. Vulpo, Vulcan. Right? Um, actually, pag nag FOO yan, it will be very good for us because it will be an opportunity for us to keep buying more stocks na mas mura. Hindi pa gagalaw ang stock. Right? Wag again, don't think short term. Lizel Elianza, good morning. Vulpo, let's check out the out. Good morning, Sir Lloyd from Christian and Lalane of Bulacan. Sir, when is the right time to average down sa equity fund? Hirap. Right? So, equity funds, yun yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, do not Kes bottoms on a bearish market. You have to wait for a reversal first. May nakita na kayong V, right? Ganyan. <laughs> Pag may nakita na kayong ganyan, dyan kayo mag-average down, right? If you can see a higher low, gamitin nyo sa, gamitin nyo si, um, what do you call this? Gamitin nyo si uh, Fibonacci retracements. Pag may nakita kayong reversal ni market, dyan pa kayo mag, uh, ano, mag, 
uh, mag-average down. Huwag yung, uy, may bounce na, baka reversal na ito, mag-average down na ako. No, don't do that on a bearish market. You don't know when where the bottom really is. Nanette Mill, sir, now po, is it a buy now? Oh, whoa, looking forward for your visit here in Dubai, Sir Lloyd. Yes, um, looking forward to that too, Sir Lloyd. When po magandang timing mag-all in sa ISM for investment? When they are announced, actually, uh, Actually, para sa akin, pwede na ngayon eh, habang mura pa eh. It's at 7.83. Thinking about the potential na mangyayari kay ISM, I strongly recommend uh, ngayon, habang maaga pa, mag-all-in tayo. Uh, we can't expect kasi a pullback eh. Yung iba, ibang tao, nag, nag-aantay ng pullback before they wanna go all-in. The thing is, we don't know where it's gonna, uh, if it's gonna pull back. So, gusto kong gawin mo, Chavit Singson. Uy, si Chavit Singson, mag-investor ka na sa ano? <laughs> si Chavit Singson, mag-investor daw siya sa ISM. Uy, Chavit. <laughs> Natatawa ako sa irony. Eh. Si Chavit kasi kalaban, di ba? Uh, Chavit Singson, mag-investor ka lang kay ISM. Yung 10 million mo, ilagay mo na lang instead na sa mag-motion for reconsideration. Kalagay mo na lang kay ISM. What you do is you just buy half here. And then if mag-retracement man at bumagsak at mag-pullback and then bounces, for sure magbabounce yan, you go all in. Right? Pwede mong gawin yan. Ngayon, pwede mong gawin is just buy half and then pag na-announce sila, for sure, aarangkada yan, that's when you go all in. Those, that's the best strategy right now. I don't recommend going all in now. Right? Kahit no, na, napaka-tempting ng position. Don't go all in as of the moment. Right? Just buy half and then if it pulls back, Then you go all in. If it doesn't pull back and goes up, just wait for the next retracement, next pull back, and then that's where you go all in, right? So that's the best strategy for ISM. So I guess walang tanong sa topics natin. Sir, anong effect ng current interest adjustments na MBT, BDO, on PPI? If ever tataas ang investment, that will be good for them. Kasi um, 50-50 eh. Maganda kasi lalaki ang kita nila, especially sa mga uh, nakautang na sa kanila. Um... Ang bad side niyan is hindi na gugustuhin ng mga taong umutang sa banko. But in the end, wala naman choice yung ibang, yung ibang mga businesses. ba diba? Sa banko naman talaga sila lalapit unless mag-IPO sila. Um, anong magandang, uh, maganda sir sa ISM or FB na trauma kasi ako sa si CHP? Thank you from Ireland. Um, FB is good but mas malaki pa ang growth potential ni ISM. So I'd recommend ISM. This is better. Ito yung sinasabi ni, ano, ni, tawag nito, ni, ng uncle ko na si uh, what do you call this? Uh, Warren Buffett <laughs> Warren Buffett says that buy a stock while it's still cheap right? yung malaking potential hindi yung blue chips na si FB blue chip na yan eh. mataas na yan right? si ISM mura pa napaka mura pa you bank on these kinds of companies hoy Chavit <laughs> I love trip kay Chavit good morning sir anyways let's continue and it's 9.09 my recommendations for today let me Post them again. Ayan. Uh, let me post this on the comments again. Yan yung mga recommendations ko today. <laughs> right? MPI, BDO, Lopez, IMI, AUV, SMPH, DNL. Alright, let's check out MPI. MPI. Ayan. Si MPI, good earnings. Plus 10%. That's very significant compared to last year. We are at a very good support and you have a bounce. Very low risk. Enter MPI. Perfect entry for MPI. Ito. This is it. BDO. Next up is BDO. Ayan. Um, very strong bounce kay BDO. Anyways, yung risk niya is still tolerable. It's around 3.5% away from support still. So, napaka-tolerable pa rin ang risk ni BDO. That's a very good signal for B- BDO right there. Um, that's a buy for BDO for me. Alright. BDO, LPZ, si Lopez. Ito, isa sa mga magagandang positions. Lopez has... So reported very significant earnings for third quarter. Very good bounce. That's pin bar right there. That's a very good sign for uh, what they call this LPZ, Lopez. Right? This is a good buy right here. You can use this as your support. Um, back, this is backed up by third quarter earnings. Napakaganda na earnings na yan. Um, if you want to check out LPZ. Ito, number one pick for today. IMI. Right? IMI, earnings plus 59%. Very good bounce right there. Um, RSI, look at RSI Ito yung turo ko sa inyo sa RSI Pababa ang presyo Support prices are going down RSI is going uh, Let me just Lakihan ko lang RSI is somehow Sorry RSI is somehow going up Pataas naman si RSI So, this can be a good bottom pick position Pwede nating i-bottom pick ito IMI 
You can test out IMI. This is just for me. If you want to be aggressive, you can use this area as your support. Just cut loss if it fails. But I, 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 uh, IMI, ay, 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 tuloy. IMI is backed up by very good numbers plus, ano, plus good RSI readings. And that's the confirmation right there. So that's a good entry point for IMI. Uh, bottom pick, this is good right here. Right? Kasi nga lang, bearish yung market, that's something you need to be concerned about. But if you feel like you wanna be, uh, what you call this, aggressive, that's a very good position right there. I am my AEV. So AEV naman, very good earnings, right? Uh, 38%. Very good earnings. Very good support right there. AEV. Pasokin nyo na yan for long term. That's good for long term also. SMPH. SMPH. We have a bounce for SMPH for two days. right? Very good price already for SMPH. This is a very solid company. Very good support area right there. Right? Napakagandang presyo na yan ni SMPH. I'd say SMPH is a buy at that price right there. Um, DNL. Right? So DNL naman. Right, DNL, we have a good price action movement here. So I think magsa sideways. It's either it's going to do sideways or it's going to go up. But the numbers are very good for DNL, 13% positive. So that should help DNL go back up again. Ang ganda ng rally ni DNL the past few weeks, right? Ang ganda niyan. DNL still very cheap at 10 pesos, right? It can reach even 12 pesos, right? Ang, ang, ang mura ni DNL. I recommend DNL right now. Napaka low risk, napagandang company. Just you can do cost averaging kay DNL if you want to. Alright, so those are my picks for today. Nang hype, nang hype si Sir. Right. Sir Lloyd, anong chart recommended gamitin for average costing? Anong chart recommended gamitin for? You can use chart uh, PSE tools, you can use Investagram chart. They're both good. Role Edian pa din. Sir, Sir Lloyd, salamat sa mga lectures. Marami ako natutunan. I'm happy to help. Mang Kanor. Ha <laughs> right. So, yan. Um, that's it. Um, pag-usapan natin si PSEI, right? PSEI, I think it's gonna be closing above seven thousand this year. I think this is a good bottom already for PSEI. Um, tinanggal na yung train, which is the main cause of this downtrend. Na wala ang mga investors. Um, foreign markets are bouncing, right? So that should be good for PSEI also. Usually, nagfa-follow naman tayo sa trend yan. Taka lang sa kanila ko. Right. So, um. I think this is positive for PSEI, right? Um, but then again, you don't trade what you think, trade what you see. So, antay lang natin yung reversal talaga. But somehow, I'm seeing a bounce at the support area. So, I think this is good for PSEI. Good for your blue chips, right? Napakamura na ng mga blue chips. Low, wala ng train, uh, especially for gas. Kasi, hindi, may train pa rin pero sa gas tinanggal. Because that's the biggest factor na nagpapamahal ng mga bilihin ng gas eh, for transportation of the products, di ba? So, wala ng gas. So, aman, wala nang train sa gas. So, that's good. It will lower the uh, inflation. GDP is good. Ma foreign markets are good. So, with those three factors, I don't think uh, PSCI is still gonna go down even more. Uh, yun. So, let's talk about yung mga requests ninyo. We still have time. It's 9.14. Bilisan natin. Um, first, first question today, si Aba. Uh, sorry. Oh, wala ako sa buttons ko. Wait, Aba. Ayan, si Aba. Recommended this yesterday. Actually, I've been recommending ABBA to buy on the dips and this is the dip we're looking for. ABBA. May backdoor. Malaking pera. Very good future ang company na ito. So, ABBA, keep on buying. Kaso nga lang, medyo mataas na ang risk ngayon. Excuse, excuse me. Uh, medyo mataas na ang risk ngayon. It's 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 negative 7% away from support. So, I strongly recommend just wait for the retracements kay ABBA. Let it do its thing. Um, as of the moment, missed opportunity. Huwag nyo hahabulin. Wait for the retracement. ISM, we've been talking about that. I've already given you the strategy for ISM. FGen. Si FGen naman, kaka-breakout lang. You can use a breakout strategy if you want to. Kay FGen, maganda naman yung earnings ni FGen. That's why nag-breakout kahapon. Plus 73% gains. So this is very good for FGen, right? Um, Nag-consolidate siya. It formed a flag pattern there. Um, don't re not really a flag. Nakalimutan ko anong, anong pangalan ng pattern nito. But that's the breakout. You can use that as your support if you wanna get in FGen. Overall, FGen is still very cheap. Ang ganda pa rin ng position niyan. Look at the possible earnings ng kay FGen, right? So FGen still very good. You can use a breakout strategy. Konting ingat lang. We have a major resistance here. So makamauntog. It's a bearish market, so I strongly recommend just wait for the re next retracement before you wanna get in FGen. Thank you so much, Jeffy. Dalam pa now. Wow, donated 2,000 to Super Chat. Thank you so much for that. Um, greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for that, Javi. Right? Um, 
Maying buntang Sir Lloyd na late ako da. Anyways, ask ko lang po sa projected price ni GFC. Um, projected price kay GFC. Opening or projected price um target profits natin. Go to um ano uh ang projected natin kay Jollibee is around 340 pa. Ang layo-layo pa. So nagko-cost averaging ako until that price and then I'm gonna see if the trend continues up there, right? Uh We'll talk about that. Sir, di ba wala naman po talagang gas si train? Kasi electric ang gamit. <laughs> Nag-joke si Froyland. <laughs> right, sorry about that. Um, ABBA is an FGEN. Next up is IRC. And IRC, there we go. IRC, maganda naman yung linalabas na movements ni IRC. Um, ang ganda ng ano eh, ang ganda ng adjustment ng par value ni, uh, ng book value ni IRC eh. Nasa 6 pesos pa. So, this is greatly undervalued. Grabe undervalued ni IRC. Um, this is something to be worried about. Negative 127%. So, um, we have to investigate. Bakit nagkaganyan? Baka nag-invest uh, nag, na, naka, nag-invest sila ng mga kagamitan for the future projects. We don't really know what's the cost. I haven't, re- I haven't checked the, uh, um, the quarterly report ni IRC kasi what cost this, right? We have to know what the cost is. I'll try to check that out within the day. Kung anong problema, anong nangyari dyan. So, that's something you should be concerned about. If you can study it yourself, please do study. Right? But IRC, you're looking at the future projects to get in IRC. So, as of the moment, wala pa. So, I don't want you to guess the bottom. Maganda na yung press action niya. Um, you can try to test by here if you should you want to get in. Pag nag-uptrend siya the next retracement, then that's good. Doon na yung pasukin ninyo. Right? Um, brush. Right? So, ang gawin nyo dito is you can test by here. Pwede kang bumili dyan. And then if it goes up and then makes a retracement and then bounces, this will be your next entry point for IRC. Should you want to get in IRC. Right? So, that's our, uh, that can be your strategy for IRC. Um, next up is DD and it's Double Dragon. May nagtatanong about kay DD kanina. May DD din ako actually. But um, medyo malaki-laki ni loss ko. Binawasan ko, pinasok ko kay ISM, nakabawi ka agad. Earnings wise, DD, negative 72% for third quarter. So this is something bad for DD. So maka problema, maka maka problema tayo dyan kay DD, right? So right now, um, negative pa rin ang Bollinger Japan triggers niya. So... Uh, stay away lang muna for DD, right? I strongly recommend just stay away for DD for now. From DD for now. Right? Um, DD or. And si or naman. And si or. Good quarterly earnings. Ayan na, umakit na si or. Good price action right there. Uh, or I recommend na sa susunod na. Uh, sa susunod na uptrend na kayo pumasok kay or. Right, sa susunod na higher low, pag nag-uptrend yan, dun yun na pasukin kasi medyo missed opportunity na yan si Or. Um, food naman, ayan, si Food, um, nagko-consolidate as of the moment, baka mag-retacement, but very good numbers. Look at that, plus 5, 5, 6% si Food. Wait for it at MA20 as much as you can, right? Antayin nyo sa MA20. But definitely, go- Food is very good. Um, yun ang problema ko eh. Baka hindi mag-retracement eh. You can test by if ever lumipad niya sa food. If hindi, if hindi uh, just make this as your support. If may nakita yung confirmation buying, just use that as your support. Dalawang araw na nag-hold din eh. So, that's, that should be a good entry for food. Um, STI. Ayan, uh, STI. Ayan, STI negative 49 ang third quarter. So, that's something you should be worrying about. Uh, nag-break siya ng support eh. So, I don't recommend STI as of the moment because of that. Uh, delikado. Especially on the bearish market. Huwag niyong hulaan yung bottom. MBT. Good job sa mga pumasok kay MBT. I've been recommending Metro Bank for how many days? Yon. Sa so MBT, lumipad na. Antay niyo yung retracement before you wanna get in MBT again. Right? So, antay niyo na lang yung retracement. Let's check your risk, overall risk, kung gusto niyo humabol. Right? Negative 5 away from support. MA20 yung support kong gagamitin. So, it's already high risk as of the moment. Just wait for the retracement and bounce before you wanna get an MBT. Si GTCAP, let's check out GTCAP. GTCAP, ayun. Um, GTCAP, go, good. Okay lang naman yung earnings niya, negative 6. Not that significant. Kaso nga lang, kulang, kinapos, right? So, kapos yung earnings niya for me. That's why I didn't rec- recommend GTCAP kahit maganda yung price action. But if you wanna t- test it out, you can use this area as your support. So, pwede yan for GTCAP. If you wanna get in GTCAP. I don't recommend that because of yun. Um, ATN naman, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay ATN. We're now back at 1.47. Kaka-breakout niya pa lang. It was a, it was a, it was a good resistance right there. 
pero nagtuloy-tuloy na with very healthy volume. So ATN, if you wanna get in, you can use a breakout. I strongly recommend just wait for the retracement before you wanna get in ATN. Uptrend na yan. Right? Again, 600 billion worth yung aggregates nila. And it's not, it doesn't stop from there. Pag napatag na lang yung lugar nila, it's gonna be a very good development right there for ATN. I told you guys, just look at the, uh, just study uh, ATN's uh, business model uh, to add to your conviction. Right? ATN. Congrats sa mga naghawak kay ATN. Patience is a virtue. Ayan na naman ulit si ATN. APX naman. May nagtanong about APX. No, no. Not APX. Uh, BPI, BPI. It's already 921 so bilisan ko lang ito. I'll I want to be answering um as many as I can. Um si ATN just wait for the retracement. Kaka-discuss ko lang. Um BPI, yan, BPI. I did we did talk about BPI the past days, right? Maganda pa rin, ang ganda ng earnings and it's already there. Umakyat na very good volume for BPI, so that's good. Wait for the retracement or you can use a breakout if you want to, right? So, para may base kayo at least kung sa tingin nyo aakit yan again this is a bearish market I don't like breakouts I str strongly will want for you to use a, uh, a retracement before you wanna get in BPI sayang kung hindi kayo pumasok sa baba I've been recommending that for how many days um, projected opening po and let's check out the projected openings let me just go zoom in right so with the time left sige tignan natin yung projected openings Sorry about the pause. Ayan. Inopen ko lang si Timson ko. Um, asa na tayo? Let me just read your ano, comments. Sir, projected po kay ISM. Uh, my Timson is still loading. So, so susunod. Uh, pagandaan ko na ito. Right? Uh, so far, ayan. projected opening. There we go. Projected opening. By change, ang pinakamalaki si MBC, LBC, NRCP, LRW. So, hindi ko mahanap si ISM sa top. So, I guess, yeah, consolidating pa ito si ISM. Uh, for ISM na lang, tingnan lang natin dito. ISM. Uh, we have a strong bid at 7.80. Can I transfer it here? And sige, pwede. Right, so we have a 7.8, right? 7.8 ang projected opening natin kay ISM. So it's gonna be slow. Uh, it's gonna be slow. Yeah, sabi ko sa inyo, just uh, magano lang kayo, magtest by lang kayo. Um, eto, just a little clue about. Yan, kaka average up ko. Asan na tayo? Right. right, so hindi natin makita si ISM sa top openers. 7.8 ang opening ni ISM ngayon, right here. So we can see it here. ISM 7.8. We have 418,000 the volume, so that's very good. Ang average ko ngayon kay ano kay ISM is 4.9. So I have a very good average kay kampante lang ako. Mahirap ito for those who entered uh, sa medyo mataas na mga positions. Right, so um, it's 9:24. I guess we have to wrap it up. Let me just see if meron tayong mga ano. Um, yon. Um, yeah, that's it for today. It's Friday, so baka magchupitan ang mga chupitero. But then again, if it goes down, you just keep buying more. Right? Wag nyo pong iisipin ang kita ninyo ngayon kay ISM as much as possible. If hindi kayo chupitero, if you're in it for investing. Um, if it goes down, this will be your opportunity to buy more. Wag kayo maiinggit, wag kayo ma, uh, wag kayong manghihinayang sa mga gains nyo. If manghihinayang talaga kayo, that's your emotion playing with you. The key is, bawasan nyo yung emotion nyo, you can always sell half if you need to. Bentin yung kalahat eh. Para lang mawala, ma maibsan yung ano nyo, para lang maibsan yung emotions ninyo. Right? So, that's it for today. Always, always, as always, enjoy your weekend. Send me a message if you have any questions. If you wanna join the workshop, mama ya, ayan sa sa gutin ko yung mga inquiries din yung after the after the daily grind. Ingat sa trades niyo. You don't have to be aggressive. It's a bearish market. Mama ya na maging aggressive pag bullish na market. As always, let's get rich together. Have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. Bye bye.